Wait! Before we start the video, here's some quick background information on ancient Mesopotamia. Nomads living in the Middle East settled in the Fertile Crescent due to its rich soil. Nomads created villages, which slowly expanded into large towns. At first, all of the towns were part of the same empire, the Sumerian dynasty. As the towns grew, some evolved into immense city-states. The city-states created their own forms of government and technology. The cities fought and conquered each other regularly. These invasions led to the creation of numerous Mesopotamian empires, such as the Babylonian, Akkadian, and Assyrian empires. Thereafter, the Mesopotamian civilization expanded through conquest. This unique civilization led to many inventions such as cuneiform writing, the wheel, the plow, mathematics, astronomy, and more. The Mesopotamian civilization lasted until the year 539 BC. Now, let's discover and explore our Minecraft Mesopotamian city. In ancient times, the market was a busy place. Merchants and farmers sold their products to their fellow citizens. The market was very lively and crowded. Products such as food, tools, clothing and pottery were available at the market. We created our market as a compact space. We inserted slabs, built lamps, placed bushes and created animal pens, giving our city realism. The one-story houses were located near the entrance of the city. Peasants such as merchants and farmers lived in these houses. The homes of the poor were usually built of reeds plastered with clay. These small houses had cramped rooms and limited living space. When we built these houses, Kira and I tried to make them look neat and clean compared to the busy market. The two-story houses were built near the large temple at the center of the city. Priests, ranking military officers, scribes, nobles, wealthy merchants and traders lived in them. These upper-class homes were built with mud bricks held together by layers of reeds. To form the mud bricks, builders placed mud in molds and let them dry in the sun. To embellish these houses, Kira and I added flower pots, lanterns, sandstone paths, and water fountains. The palace is where the king resides. It is also where he took care of empire business. A palace had many colors and impressive architectural designs. It is the second biggest structure in our city. Kira and I placed terracotta columns to add a colorful vibe to the building. We also added bushes and a garden on the rooftop, thus recreating the Hanging Gardens of Babylon, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Immense fortifications were built around the city in order to protect it from its enemies. The high walls were mostly constructed out of stone, mud, or clay bricks. Mesopotamian farmlands were located near the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. 
This created soil that was rich and fertile, promoting agriculture. Irrigation techniques were developed to efficiently water crops. Farmers mainly grew barley and wheat. They also planted vegetables like beans, onions, and peas, and cultivated fruits like melons, figs, and grapes. Farmers domesticated animals such as pigs, cattle, sheep, and donkey. The Zigura, or temple, is located at the center of the city. It is the largest and most important monument. These temples were used to worship gods. Each city-state would worship their own protector god. Only priests were allowed to enter the temple. It was their responsibility to take care of the gods and attend to their needs. The temples were constructed of mud bricks. We hope you enjoyed our Mesopotamian city. Join us again soon for our next video.